Hey, yo, yo, guys, it's your boy, Rob the Rider, and today, <clears throat> sorry for that cough, we are going to be reviewing Hair Razor at Ocean Park in Hong Kong. Now, this ride has is very, very special to me because this was the second roller coaster I've ever done. Technically third, but the first credit I've ever gotten was a kiddie coaster, then it was the Giant Dipper at Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, and this one was next. And yes, this is in Hong Kong. So this is located in Ocean Park. I will be doing a review of Ocean Park sometime. Ocean Park's amazing. They have two great roller coasters. They have this one here, Hair Razor, and they also have an aerodynamics custom looper called the uh, Dragon, which that sounds really horrible because it's headbangy. There's no headbangy at all in that ride, but that is a different ride. So, Hair Razor. This is a B&M floorless coaster, and I'm pretty sure I have the pleasure of saying this is my favorite B&M floorless coaster. And I've ridden a pretty much pretty a lot of uh, B&M floorless coasters. I've ri ridden Rougarou at Cedar Point. I've ridden uh, so, so many. Drago Con, Port Aventura. Just, uh, yeah, I've, ri I've ridden a lot of these. And, you know, uh, Patriot, California's Great America. So many, so many. But this one is my favorite because this is a crazy ride with rapid fire transitions. So it does have an airtime hills, as you've seen right there. And you might think that doesn't give you airtime. That is one of the best moments of airtime I've ever experienced. So that is great. This ride is so whippy and so crazy. It reminds me a little bit of Maverick. Not on that same level, though. But it's just crazy, guys, because you are flipping... And then every moment you're doing something, you're either getting energy to go into another loop, you're either getting energy to go into an airtime hill, or, oh, it's an amazing ride. And it starts off really great, because you're climbing this lift hill on the side of this cave wall, and then you turn left and go into a very intense drop into a loop. And I have to say something about this guy's ride, guys. This is the best view from a ride I have ever had the pleasure of viewing. This ride has the best view ever, because what's happening, you are turning, you are dropping, and then you are seeing, look at that, guys, you can see right there, it is so amazing, you get to see the whole Hong Kong Bay, you get to see the skyscrapers, you get to see the amazing residential complexes, it is a great, great time, and this ride is so relentless, it just keeps going and going, I wanted to hop in right back in line for it, unfortunately, I only did get one ride that day, I am pretty sure it was in the front row. Yes, it was in the front row, which is a very good sit to, place to sit on this ride. And this ride is really a ride you're going to have to experience once in your life. This ride is never talked about because not many people get out to this park. But this is a clearly, clearly underrated ride. And if I ever do a top 25 coasters, this will definitely get in my top 10. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please smash a like on it. I'm sorry that this review is a little shorter than usual but if you uh comment down below do you like the shorter reviews or do you like the wrong longer reviews because i can happily you know uh, remake this review longer or just you know make them longer in the future but if you guys enjoyed smash the like subscribe i'll see you later guys and bye